thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Thank you. Thank you very much to Pat Seiki for your very, very gracious words, uh, for your leadership of the state of Hawaii and for your service to our country. Of course, I also want to say thank you uh, to my very, very good friend, the governor of our state of Hawaii, yeah. Linda Lingle. Yeah. Lieutenant Governor Iona, thank you. And of course, thank you also to Jonah Kauai. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a momentous day. This is a momentous day. We, we have sent a message. We have sent a message to the United States Congress. We have sent a message to the ex governor We have sent a message to the National Democrats. We have sent a message to the machine. told them that we will not stand idly by as our great nation is overburdened by too much taxes, by too much debt, by too much <laughs> We have sent a message that we need more private sector jobs, not more public sector programs. We have sent a message that this congressional seat is not owned by any political party. It is not by any union. It is not owned by any union. It is not owned by any special interest group. This congressional seat is owned by the people. Yeah. I. I am extraordinarily humbled this evening, ladies and gentlemen, to be given this amazing, amazing opportunity to represent the people of Hawaii in our nation's capital. But I could not have done this alone. I need to thank several individuals. First and foremost, it is my family, my yeah. beautiful wife, Stacy, my yeah. wonderful son, Corey and Allie. It is because of them, it is because of my wife, it is because of my children that I get up every single morning so grateful for so much that I have, but also why I am so driven to do so much more. And second, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you. It is because of all of you, the volunteers, who stood with me day after day in the hot sun, morning and afternoon sign waving with me. It is all of you. It is all of you. It is all of you who sat with me phone banking hour after hour, contacting all the voters. It is all of you who canvassed with me and went with me door to door. It is because of your determination and your hard work that we were able to communicate our message of fiscal responsibility and government accountability to the people. Yes. But I am finally, and finally of course, I want to thank the voters of the state of Hawaii. It is Republicans, Democrats, Independents, I want to say thank you to all of you for standing up for change in Washington, D.C. I have been given and granted now a tremendous privilege but with it also, of course, an amazing responsibility. 
I want each and every one of you to know and understand every single day that I am fortunate to serve each and every one of you as your representative in Washington, D.C., I will never forget the faith and confidence you have granted to me here this evening. Yeah. Tonight, my friends, is a milestone. It is a milestone in Hawaii and American history. Tonight, 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 my friends, a seat. Tonight, my friends, a seat which has been held by one political party for 20 years is about to change hands. Yeah. Tonight, I am amazingly humbled that tonight the son of immigrants from China and Thailand is about to enter the halls of the United States Congress. Yeah. And tonight, and tonight, tonight a community has voiced its concern that Congress is taking our nation in the wrong direction. Yeah. Now friends, tomorrow, tomorrow, I know there are going to be pundits out there who are going to try to minimize the significance of tonight's election. Tomorrow, these pundits are going to say that the only reason this evening occurred is because of unique political circumstances. These, these pundits are going to tell you to ignore the results of what happened here tonight. We're here to tell them they are wrong. These, these armchair prognosticators completely miss the point of the significance of tonight's election and what's happening here this evening. I want to remind all of you, it was just four months ago that there was a poll done by the media. That poll said, not only were we in third place, we were in last and last by a mile. These same pundits who are going to try to minimize tonight's election are going back in January, told all of us, told all of us that this congressional seat was purchased and owned as exclusive property of the Democratic Party and no outsiders Ooh. need apply. No. But ladies and gentlemen, we didn't believe them. No. We, we believe, we believe that the best days of our nation are still in front of us if we change course now. We, we believe that Congress is taking our nation in the wrong direction, spending too much of our money on programs that do not work with no plan to pay it back. We believe that this congressional seat is not owned by any political party. It is not owned by any union. It is not owned by yeah. any special interest group. We believe that this congressional seat is owned by the people. And tonight, yeah. because of your help, because of your organization, we are in the process of taking our government back. But my friends, make no mistake, as significant as tonight's win is, and it is a significant achievement for all of us here, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Yeah.